Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Grace Tori, and I am back with a whole new video. Today's video I've been planning for a while, trying to get my ducks in a row, and I'm just so excited for it. I've gathered some advice from my fellow friends at the University of Kentucky to give you guys the best tips I possibly can if you are attending this school or college in general. Most of this applies to pretty much all colleges. So if you want to hear all of my tips and tricks, then keep watching. So my first tip is kind of silly, but you'll understand what I mean once you get to college. Always carry a water bottle, especially on UK's campus. It is very, very large. Um, you will be doing a lot of walking throughout the day. So please, please don't forget a refillable water bottle. All of the water fountains have a place to refill your bottle with clean water. So save the earth and carry reusable water. We do have a lot of places to eat, obviously, if you really need a drink, but with all of the walking you're doing, and you will probably be out all day most of the time because you will be walking to the other side of campus usually, um, don't forget a water bottle. Stay hydrated. So the next tip I have is download the Live Safe app. The Live Safe app has saved my butt so many times. I'm going to pull it up and show you guys exactly what I mean. So when I started going to the University of Kentucky and I went to my Sea Blue orientation, they had us download this app, so that's good. So you probably have already heard this if you have had your orientation, if they still do that. But basically, when you go in, it has report tips, emergency options, UK resources, and go safe. So if you click on the three bars at the top and you go to get home safely, Evie, please no. Come here. So if you go to get home safely, hit track campus buses. And the two that you will use if you are on campus are the blue route and the white route. They both go in one big circle around the campus. One goes in one direction and one goes the other. So I'm going to click on the blue route. It will show you exactly where it is and where the stops are. Right now the buses aren't running, so it says no prediction, but usually it'll tell you how many minutes until the bus gets there, which is really, really helpful. And there's also a bunch of other helpful things with this app to make sure that you are safe no matter what happens. So see, call 911, call campus police, message campus police. There's so many cool things in this app that are just going to help your life at UK flourish. So definitely recommend that. My next tip is to evaluate your living situation. This is more for if you're a sophomore through a senior. If you're a freshman, I highly recommend living on campus your first year. But if you are older and you are looking into living situations, I highly recommend moving off campus. I've lived in how like an actual house. I've lived in an apartment and I've lived on campus. And the house in the apartment is literally half the price of living on campus. Um, it's so expensive to live on campus. It's about $4,000 a semester, not including your meal plan. So that's just your dorm. But it's totally worth it. It's so much fun. So if you can afford to do that, I definitely would. But if you're looking to get off of campus and you want to experience all kinds of things in the four years you have to be at the University of Kentucky, I can do a whole video on living situation. Just comment below. But I highly recommend living in a house. That's where I've been the past year, and I'm moving into a different one this year, and it's so much fun. So yeah, I can do a whole video on that. Just let me know. Next is to get involved. This is super important. The second you walk on that campus, you should be signing up to do things, trying new things. There are over 500 clubs and organizations on the University of Kentucky's campus, and they're all over the place. There is something for everybody. So I'm involved in probably three or four different organizations. Some are big organizations like Greek Life, and I have other organizations I'm involved in that have to do with my major. But there's something for literally everybody, and it's a great way to meet people, and you'll find people that are like-minded, and there's literally everything. Highly recommend it. Please, please, please get involved. You are missing out on such a big part of college if you choose not to. Don't forget to introduce yourself to professors on the first day of school. So this is really important. I just usually walk up to professors the first day of class and I say, Hi, my name is Grace Tori. I'm going to be in your class for the semester. I'm looking forward to learning from you. Um, and if you want to, if it's a class you're interested in, you can definitely say more or what your favorite part about that class is. But just it gives them a face to your name so that if you email them, they're more likely to help you um, and they have a better understanding of you. And it's just 
better. It gives you a relationship with your professor. So if you need a reference from them later, it's great. And having a relationship with them, if you're struggling in a, the class and you need help, you can walk up to them and they are more understanding and they know your face. So on the flip side, if they know your face, please don't skip class. Don't skip class period. Do not skip class. But if they do know your face and you skip class, bad idea. So I recommend sitting in the second or third row rather than the first because they will know you. But yeah, don't skip class. Bad idea. It's a dangerous, dangerous game you're playing. I've been there. Don't do it. It's really, really, really important to be yourself. This is a time when you can reinvent yourself to whoever you want to be, especially if you're coming from a different place. But please don't forget who you are, where you came from, what your morals are. You don't have to compromise your morals to fit in. There's literally something for everybody. So please just be yourself. Like I, I feel like in high school, we're kind of forced to be everybody else or what everybody else wants us to be. And in college, you can literally be whoever you want. So take this time to figure out who you are and just, yeah, trust me, you'll thank me later. Next is Willie T is amazing. Please don't be afraid to just hang out there. It's so great. It's right in the middle of campus. You can sit in the Starbucks for an hour between classes. You can go study in the actual study areas they go from first to fifth floor and the first floor is the loudest the fifth floor is the quietest so if you need some time to be extra extra studious and you don't want that noise you can go to the fifth floor i usually hang on the second or third floor but some of my friends prefer the fifth so i can be seen on literally any single one if i'm alone i like to go to starbucks because there's music and i just like the vibe there but yeah it's a great great place you meet lots of people there and it's a fun place to just hang out and get some work done regardless so if it's homework or if you're looking for a job, just hang out there. It's better than just sitting alone in your dorm if you have some extra time and you need to get some stuff done. Highly recommend it. I highly recommend living in the Woodland Glens if you can. I think there's one through four. I lived in Holmes Hall and that was great. I literally lost like 20 pounds living there. But I went to the College of Ag. I still go to the College of Ag. So it was literally a 30 to 45 minute walk to class. Um, if you don't want that... Woodland Glens, every single one of them are right next to everything. The only thing you really have to walk to get to is like Whitehall's kind of far, not really. And then like Local Taco and all of the fun food places are over by Holmes and Boyd and Jewel Hall. So yeah, I highly recommend living um, in the Woodland Glens or the Flats or Shellgren, I think is what it's called. All those over there are so much closer to everything and it's just like nicer at night because you don't have to walk all the way home. I never went to Willie T when it was past dark because I was afraid and the buses do stop eventually. They don't go forever. So definitely stay closer to everything so that you don't have to worry about that because it scared me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a baby, but yeah. On that note, get out of your dorm as much as possible. Your dorm will always be there, but there's so much to do on campus. You should never, ever be bored. Even if you're just doing homework, like I mentioned, it's not fun to just sit alone in your dorm. If you're hanging out with your roommates, that's great, but I mean, there's so much to do. You guys are lucky because when I started going to UK, we didn't have the student center, but now we do. We have free movies at the literal movie theater at the student center. We have all kinds of clubs. We have so many Starbucks. I think we're at, well, we have two Starbucks, but I mean, Two more than I have at home. Um, <laughs> we have all kinds of food. There's just so much to do on campus and off of campus. If one of your friends has a car and you want to go to Lexington, there's so much to do all around Lexington. There's the Fayette Mall, so many parks. If you're bringing a dog, I have some good places to recommend because Evie does go to Lexington with me. There's just so many things to do. Um, let me know if you want a list. But yeah, stay out of your dorm. There's really no reason to just sit in your dorm and let the world pass you by. I was that shy girl my freshman year and I never left my dorm. And I regret it so much. It literally took me until junior year to come out of my shell. And that's when I started making friends. And I just don't want you to do that too because it was a long like two years of being lonely and it was not fun so yeah definitely get out of your shell and don't just sit in your dorm there's so many places for you to just sit and you meet so many people take advantage of all those opportunities around you I highly recommend it I cannot recommend this enough there's so many awesome things on this campus that are gonna help you thrive you just have to take advantage of them Another thing I want to say is it is okay to change your major or your minor or, you know, anything that you want involving you and your goals that you have. That's so normal. When you go to college, you never come out of it the same person you went in as. And that's okay. You're not supposed to. You're living on your own for most of you the first time. You just need that 
experience and you may decide that you don't want to do what you thought you did and that is okay especially your freshman year I mean I've been changed my minor like four times I've added a major I've never fully changed my major but I've done all kinds of stuff and that's okay I mean I've definitely changed the direction of my life that I want to go in and it's okay like don't let someone tell you I feel like a lot of time I feel like a lot of times we go into college and we say I want to be a doctor and that's something that you have to like absolutely 100% commit to or it's going to be really difficult. So if you don't 100% want to be a doctor and it's more of something that your parents have like told you to do or you've just been like kind of told that you should do that since you were little because you're really good at it but you don't like it, it's okay to explore other options. That's what I mean college is for and you don't have to feel bad about it. This is the first time you can make decisions on your own for the most part with no influences and just be you and it's okay to have bad days and just want to change your everything. Like that is totally normal. Another important thing is to be focused on your career. If it does change, that's okay, but you need to be focused on it throughout the entirety of college. Start your freshman year. If you go to UK, which most of you probably are, Work with the Stuckert Career Center. They are amazing. If you are in a major that has an internship coordinator, I'm not sure if all of them do, but my major does, and she's absolutely amazing. It will change your life to just have a meeting with them. Be vocal about what you want. Ask them for resources to help you get there. Talk to your advisor about it. You never know who they know. They're big people in the industry most of the time, and that's why they work at UK. UK is a great place and there's a lot of people high up in whatever you want to do that work there. So use your connections and network and work with the Career Center. You should be fine tuning your resume and your interview skills throughout your time in college because you want to be the one that stands out. You don't just want to be average. You want to be the one that gets all of the job offers. So yes, it's fun to go out and have fun with your friends and I'm not saying don't do that. Please, please, please have fun while you're in college. But do remember that you're there to further your education so that you ha can have a job and if you know what job that is or even if you don't just be fine tuning those skills and don't just go to college for the educational side but go to learn about how to be an adult like we have a financial wellness center there's all these great resources that help you to leave college as a full functioning adult that's going to be successful and stand out among all of your peers and that is what these resources are for so please use them they're amazing if you have an internship coordinator I cannot recommend this enough mine has literally been so so good it will change your career path and just help you to be so 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 much more successful don't forget to talk to anyone and everyone one of my friends mentioned just she said you never know who will be your friend and even if they decide not to be your friend, like you're gonna make people smile just by being kind and talking to them. Most of the people are gonna be freshmen that you're with, especially if you're in those general education or as they call them, UK core classes. So they'll probably be freshmen or sophomore. So they need friends just as much as you do. So make friends, just talk to everybody. Don't like, for like, don't feel shy or awkward because I promise you they're in the same boat you are and just make people smile like be kind yeah it's literally so important like I even if you're shy I know it's so difficult I am more on the quiet side when I don't know somebody but it'll be so much better and you're just gonna make friends quicker and it'll make your college life just so much better. Another one is to say yes to everything that is not going to kill you or compromise your morals. So if you are kind of a homebody, I am too, yo, what up? Don't feel like you need to go to class, come home, and Netflix all night. Like, there are so many opportunities just waiting for you, and if you are asked to do something, don't say no just so you can go home and order a pizza. Like, get yourself out there, say yes to everything, and you'll never know what you run into. Do what you want to do and not what everybody else tells you to do. There will still be pressure, there will still be peer pressure. It's not gonna be this amazing candy land where everything is different and you're free. You're still gonna have pressure to do certain things, but if you don't wanna do it or if you don't feel like it's gonna benefit you, it's okay to say no. Like. Say yes to every opportunity that you can, but if it's something that you genuinely feel like is not good for you or is not going to lead you down a path that you want to go down, you can say no. Like, you're an adult. Um, don't give in to peer pressure just because you're pressured to do it. Do it because you want to do it. Also, if you have not gotten your dorm room selection done, I think that it's already opened because parking passes are out. If it's not, I don't know, just get your dorm as soon as possible. You don't want to end up with a random roomie. Well, 
that's not horrible but also we have one dorm I think where it's shared rooms and that's not near as fun as having your own room so get it done as soon as possible this is me being a mom telling you to do it go do it honey you'll thank me later do not be afraid to use the bus the bus is going to be your best friend it cuts your time down so much you have to time it right because obviously there's not a ton of buses and they have to go all the way around campus so there's not going to be one every single time you want one but you'll figure out the routine of the buses and they will literally make your life so much easier it's so much safer and we're just a big fan of the buses don't be afraid to use them and they'll help you figure out shortcuts around campus it's a good time don't be afraid to explore campus there's really nowhere that's off limits I, I haven't found anywhere that's off limits so definitely explore and this is a really good one to end on. It's okay to feel like you lost yourself and then you find yourself again and then you lose yourself and then you find yourself. That's what college is about. You're not always going to feel like you know exactly what you're doing. I, this hits home. You are going to have good days and bad days and you're going to have really, really good days and really, really bad days and highs and lows and that's just how it is. You're going to have certain weeks where you just feel like you have no idea what you're doing and then you're going to have weeks where everything's amazing. So please, please, please don't feel like your life is over because you had one bad day or week or month. It's part of college. That's what's going to happen. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to share this with all of your friends who are going to college, whether it's to UK or to a different school. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what your favorite tip is down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Oh, why is this crooked? Okay. Don't forget that. Sorry my camera's crooked all of a sudden. I, like, don't like this. Okay. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It really, really helps out my channel, and I would love, love, love to make more college videos. Just let me know what you want to see down below, any beauty videos you want to see, literally anything. Your girl is here to do it. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Tears like strawberries on a summer evening. And it sounds like a song